three crimes that shocked the world and changed our culture forever. Crime happens every day, all over the world. We don't mean that in a make Africa great again kind of way. Rather, the existence of crime is a scary, often uncontrollable part of life. And it can seem an even bigger part of life because we tend to be a society that demands all the details anytime something tragic or shocking happens. No matter how, or perhaps because of how, far, mo far removed the situation may be from our personal experience of the world. Not only is it endlessly fascinating to probe the human condition, trying to figure out not just how, but why something happened, but perhaps in some ways learning all there is to know about a crime makes us feel like we're building a fortress of information that will help us prevent anything of that sort from happening to us. And it isn't just online media, which operate at fever pitch 24-7, that have deposited us in the current state of true crime junkie nirvana in which we find ourselves today. While the doings of daily life tend to be on the dull side and always have been, the media in general have always sensationalized anything ripe for the picking. And crime is always ripe for the picking. Whether it was axe murders of Lizzie Borden's parents inspiring a morbid nursery rhyme or Jack the Ripper stalking prostitutes on the streets of Whitechapel, some form of media has always been there to put a salacious spin on the scariest tales of the day. The Assassination of JFK Who shot JFK? Most people accepted the answer. Lee Harvey Oswald fired the fatal shots at President John F. Kennedy from his perch at a sixth floor window of the Texas School Book Depository in Dallas on November 22, 1963. He was arrested hours later, initially for killing a police officer, but ultimately arraigned for the President's murder. On, no on November 24th, Jack Ruby, who ran a nearby nightclub, shot and killed Oswald as police were escorting him toward an armored car that would take him to jail. The entire thing was caught on live network TV. Obviously, the murder of the President of the United States was a life-altering event for millions of people, shattering their sense of security and for some, their hopes for the future. Kennedy's death changed the course of the nation, particularly when it came to the war in Vietnam. But JFK's murder also launched the mother of conspiracy theories as probed in pop culture by the likes of Oliver Stone's JFK and John and Jackie Kennedy became almost myth mythological figures with every generation since lending its cinematic TV and literary takes on the Camelot couple to the conversation. The Murder of John Lennon On December 8, 1980, the former Beatle and wife, Yoko Ono, were just steps away from the Dakota, on their way home from a hauntingly intimate photo shoot with Annie Lebovitz and Mark David Chapman, shot Lennon four times in the back. He calmly stayed at the scene, and when the cops arrived, he was reading from a copy of Catcher in the Rye. Culturally, it's too painful to think about what the musical landscape would look like had Lennon, who was only 40 when he was killed, been alive all this time. Moreover, he spent almost the entirety of his days post Beatles crafting a message about peace, from the literal meaning of imagine to his Yoko's bed in, and Lennon had so much more to do. Ono has made it her mission to remind the world what it lost and what Lenin stood for. Paying annual tribute to him, advocating for gun control in his name, and doing everything in her power to make sure Chapman never gets out of prison. The Abduction and Murder of Adam Walsh The six-year-old was kidnapped from a Sears in Florida in 1981 and his severed head 
was found about 120 miles away from his family's home 16 days later. The rest of his remains have never been found. His son's killer, still unknown in 1988, John Walsh became the host of America's Most Unwanted, a show that probably served as rather dull background noise once a week for a lot of us when we were kids. None of us realizing until much later that it was personal for Walsh. He had been in the hotel business, uh, but after Adam's murder, he completely devoted himself to criminal justice, victim advocacy, and hunting down the worst criminals. More than 1,200 of whom were captured thanks to AM AMW, the show, along with the CBS, 48 Hours, also helped pave the way for hard copy, Dateline, and the bevy of other predator-catching, mystery-solving shows whose numbers have only multiplied in the days since. And those in turn led up to the current true crime boom, The Jinx, Making a Murder, The Staircase, and Serial and Serial Standing Out from the Pack, along with intense, reality-driven scripted sagas such as The Night Of, American Crime, and almost every plotline lately on Law and Order, SVU. In 2008, the Hollywood Police Department officially identified serial killer Otis Toole, who died in prison in 1996 while serving life for other crimes as Adam's killer. Hope you liked this video. If yes, then like the video and subscribe the channel, and don't forget to press the button given below.